What's going on, y'all? 805 Just here, Just 805, representing the 805 for life, Ventura County, stand up, represent West Coast, California, all day. Real quick video. Uh, some of you may know of this, some of you may not, but for anybody that follows um, hip hop, rap, uh, that culture, that that music, uh, just celebrated 50 years, um, 50th anniversary of of uh, rap music in the beginning stages of hip hop culture uh, last year. Man, I got to give a shout out to journalist extraordinaire Elliot Wilson. That's right. The man, the myth, the legend himself, Elliot Wilson. Uh, if you're not familiar with Elliot, this man has been in journalism uh, specifically related to hip hop and rap since the early 90s. Maybe even before that, uh, to my knowledge, he goes all the way back to 92. Um, I have a lot of respect for Elliot Wilson. Um, he comes from that uh, similar uh, class of, of rap and hip hop media as my father. Uh, my father is going on 60. He'll be 60 years old soon. He started his career um, in radio and in, in, uh, in media uh, in the 80s. So he's got a few years on Elliot Wilson. Um, but that's besides the point. Uh, for some reason, Elliot Wilson seems to get a lot of hate from the younger uh, hip hop media personalities, rap personalities, uh, the uh, younger journalists that... Uh, consistently and regularly report on rap and hip hop. And I don't get it. I don't understand the hate. Uh, I think it's unwarranted. This man, Elliot, I think he's maybe 53, going on 54, maybe somewhere in between. I believe Elliot's, uh, Mr. Wilson's between 52 and 54 years old. And I just don't understand the disrespect. I see Charlemagne from the Breakfast Club in New York going at him. Um, I see people like, you know, DJ Academics, who was never a DJ, so I don't know why he goes by that. Academics doesn't speak the highest of him. Um, and I don't, I don't get that. Uh, to me, this man is, he's the OG for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I don't consider myself a, a hip hop or rap journalist. Um, I, I, I do love and enjoy, uh, classic, you know, rap music. I don't listen to a lot of the current stuff, but, uh, you know, the older kind of golden era rap I do really love and appreciate and was raised on. Um, and of course, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of uh, hip hop culture, the original hip hop culture, which is break dancing, uh, graffiti uh, and, and those uh, things of that sort and such. Uh, but Elliot Wilson, this man has been in journalism since the early 90s. He's written for The Source, Double uh, XL, if you're familiar with Ego Trip. Um, and even other magazines that are not necessarily rap or hip hop magazines, GQ, I mean, his name, he, he he's all over. And so uh, I think people like Charlemagne of The Breakfast Club um, and uh, people like Academics and other people online, they I think they're hating because now he's doing more uh, content when it comes to the digital space. He, I believe he has a show on YouTube. Uh, with DJ Head. Shout out to DJ Head out of LA. Um, and I think people are starting to feel intimidated because he's starting to enter their arenas. He's, you know, entering their spaces where, you know, formerly he was primarily a print journalist. You know, he was a writer for hip hop and rap magazines. You didn't see him on TV a lot. You didn't see him, you know, on YouTube a lot, on podcasts. And now you see Elliot Wilson on multiple podcasts, you see him on Bag Fuel. Uh, shout out to Bag Fuel. Shout out to Esso. Uh, shout out to he's been on Joe Budden's podcast. Shout out uh, to the JBP. Um, where have I seen him at? Uh, he's been everywhere. I think he he might have did Drink Champs. I'm trying to think of some other rapper hip hop podcasts and shows that I've seen him on. Regardless, he's been making his rounds and now has his own program, now has his own show on YouTube as well. And of course, he had the critically acclaimed Rap Radar uh, podcast where he interviewed, you know, legendary, you know, rap artists and people from, uh, you know, rap history and the culture of hip hop. So nonetheless, people need to not only put respect on Elliot Wilson's name, don't disrespect the man. At this point, in my opinion, it's looking like ageism. Just because the man is over 50, just because he's been in the game, just because he's been contributing to journalism in regards to rap and hip hop since the 90s, 
it's like you are trying to age him out. And I've never understood that. We have this conversation a lot in multiple other cultures, especially when it comes to their music and media. People are able to age gracefully into their 60s, 70s, and even 80s. And you don't see a lot of hate for that. I mean, a lot of people oftentimes bring up rock and roll and how you still have groups like, you know, the Rolling Stones and, you know, you have uh, people in like Paul McCartney from uh, the Beatles who you don't see too many people hate on these folks as they continue to not only perform, but make their rounds as they get up in age and become, you know, uh, not only senior citizens, but even elderly. But for some reason in rap music and in hip hop culture, we do that as soon as uh, a rapper or artist or producer, you know, gets past 45 and gets to around 50 years old. There's no respect for him anymore. We forget about him and we have revisionist history. So I think it's disrespectful. It needs to stop. I don't believe it will stop because this is the world we live in. You know, people are going to hate. Uh, people are going to be disrespectful. And that is what it is. But just know y'all will never hear disrespect uh, come from my mouth on my YouTube channel in any broadcast anywhere. Um, shout out to uh, Elliot Wilson and DJ Head. I definitely look forward to sitting down with them on their show one of these days. But uh, for people who are veterans of their industry, uh, for people who have kind of laid the foundation for where we are today, no matter what they're doing, whether it's media, cooking, uh, whatever, you got to put you got to put respect. You got to respect those people, man. And I don't know if it's that's just how I was raised, that I respect not only my elders, but I was taught and raised to respect people that came before me. But me personally, and like I said, I don't know, I, I do feel like I have an old soul. You know, I, y'all. if y'all know, if y'all familiar with me, I listen to a lot of old school music. I prefer to watch old movies, old TV shows. That's just me. Shout out to K-Earth 101, uh, the best oldie station of all time in L.A. Um, but that's just me. So, Elliot Wilson, shout out to you. I don't know if he's going to see this or not. If he does, hey, just know you got my respect and you always will. And other people need to put respect on not only Elliot Wilson, but journalists, people in media, broadcasting, even movies and film. Just because someone's getting older in age or they've been doing it for a long time, that doesn't mean you need to hate on them. That doesn't mean that their time is up. If we relate it to sports, LeBron James will be 40 in December. That's right. LeBron James will be 40 years old in December of this year. And this man is still playing not only professional basketball in the NBA, he's playing in the Olympics right now at a high level. He's got gray in his beard and everything. So listen, ageism is disrespectful, it's foul. Don't do it. Respect the legends, respect the people that blaze the trail and show love. Peace, peace, y'all.